All morning here along the New Hampshire Vermont border. This is video from Daniel Levanway showing the intensity of the rain and lightning as storms moved through about an hour or two ago here. Definitely some strong stuff out there. Yeah, so if you are headed in that area, there could be some water on the roadway, so just be careful. Yeah, I mean, I think driving is certainly going to be an issue along 91 in that vicinity. However, the lightning is still very dangerous. You saw in that video, it's pretty impressive, and it still is. That out, that video, again, an hour or two old, but look at this lightning that's still left over right in that vicinity. So please be very careful of that, Cabot. Marshfield right in the middle of some uh, frequent lightning there. Orange, you guys have plenty of it popping up here or there in your area. Bath in New Hampshire. Sure, Newberry right along the border there. A lot of lightning and of course that really heavy rain continues as well. Now let's talk about that lightning. Strikes are over 100 just in this area where you see that red box. So a lot of lightning but also that flooding too from the rain that's been persistent over the last two hours. So Bradford, Orford on up through Woodsville. You guys are in the middle of a flash flood warning. That's this green shaded area. Haverhill right in the middle of that. And again right along the, the border there. So roads could, roads could be covered in a lot of water due to this heavy rain and it does continue so please have that in mind. Our chance for con uh, continued thunderstorms will continue on and off throughout the rest of the day. Could see some more of those damaging wind gusts that did bring some trees down in Lebanon. Uh, we do have the potential more for more of that flash flooding, small hail and then our biggest threat of course continues to be the lightning which has been a big theme with these thunderstorms already this morning. Now through the rest of the day the best chance for any strong or severe storms according to the Storm Prediction Center is going to be where there's green shaded area is for central and southern Vermont as well as southern New Hampshire. Now on a scale of five that threat is low but we've already seen so far this morning that those storms in those spots have fired up and begun, become pretty nasty very quickly. So please be on guard for those throughout the rest of the day. That's why we do have your yellow impact icon for the rest of Tuesday. It is going to be cooler so for those of you who miss out on the storms which some of you will it's going to be I think a little bit more refreshing out there mid 70s for our highs with a light north wind. But those thunderstorms for many of us will be a problem. Here they are firing up uh, throughout the rest of the morning and by about midday you can see a few of those showing up over Vermont and into New Hampshire, same with northern New York. And through the evening hours we continue with that chance for those showers and a few storms, which like I said, although the threat for severe weather is low, some of them could pack a pretty good punch at times and some of you will get some sun in between. So it's another one of those summertime days. Wednesday a lot quieter. We'll start off with a mix of sun and clouds, maybe a spot shower. But other than that, humidity isn't too bad and we'll be near 80. Humidity is back with temperatures in the low 80s again on Thursday. Still pretty quiet by then before a chance for the return of some more scattered thunderstorms on Friday. Weekend looking hot, but for the most part dry. However, humidity will jump back up again by Sunday.